So we're, here we have another kinetics problem, and it looks like this. We've got this reaction here, which is the reaction of methanol with hydrochloric acid gives us methylene chloride and water. And here's, some, here's a table of some data that we've obtained. And the whole problem looks like this. The rate of disappearance of hydrochloric acid was measured with reaction to methanol, which is what this is. And we got the following data. This is the concentration of hydrochloric acid in moles per liter of solution. Here's the time. And this is in minutes. So at zero, we had 1.65 molarity in 52, second, 52 minutes. We had 1.53 molarity and so forth. So we want to calculate the average rate of reaction for each time interval first, and then we want to calculate the average rate of reaction for the entire interval from 0 to 450 mil minutes, and then we want to graph the concentration of hydrochloric acid versus time, and determine instantation reaction rates at two different times, one at time 0, otherwise known as the initial reaction rate, and a time at 190 minutes. So let's calculate the average rate of reaction of hydrochloric acid for each time interval. So I've just recopied the uh, table from the original problem. And so we want the average rate for each of the time intervals. And our rate is going to be equal to the change in hydrochloric acid with respect to the change in time for each time period. And so for 0 to 52 minutes, we have the change in concentration with the change in time. So that would be 1.53 molar minus 1.65 molar divided by change of time, which would be 52.0 minutes minus 0 minutes. And we put that in our calculator, and we get minus 2.31 times 10 to the minus third molarity per minute for the time interval from 0 to 52 and 1.65 molarity to 1.53 molarity. And so we do the next interval, which is from 50, 52 to 111 minutes, and it is 1.40 molarity minus 1.53 molarity divided by the time interval which is 111 minutes minus 52 minutes and that gives us minus 2.20 times 10 to the minus third molarity per minutes. So there's your interview from in interval from 52 to 111 minutes and so we have from 111 minutes to 223 minutes and that is 1.18 molarity minus 1.40 molarity and we have 223 minutes minus 111 minutes and that gives us minus 1.96 times 10 to the minus third molarity per minute. And then fi and our final inter interval is 223 minutes to 450 minutes. And that is 0 0.840 molarity minus 1.18 molarity divided by 450 minutes minus 223 minutes and that gives us minus 1.50 times 10 to the minus third molarity per minute and as you can see the rate drops as the reaction proceeds just like what we'd expect that is the initial reaction is going to be much faster than the reaction nearing completion or equilibrium. Now we can look at uh, part B, where we're going to calculate the rate of reaction for the entire time. That is, we're going to calculate from 0 minutes to 450 minutes. Well, the rate is still the change in concentration 
of hydrochloric acid divided by the change in the period in question. Well, the period in question is from 0 to 450. And so it's a pretty straightforward calculation in this case, just like the last ones. And it's the final concentration, there we go, 840 molarity minus our starting concentration over the entire period. And that's 450.0 minus 0. And that gives us minus 1.8 times 10 to the minus third mol molarity per minute. Started right down seconds, but it's per minute. And there you go. Just got to keep in keep in mind you've got to take it over the period in question. So this is the period in question right here from zero to 450, 1.65 to 0 0.84, 0 0.840. 1.65, 450 minus 0, and there you go, minus 1.8 times 10 to the minus 3rd. Finally, we want to take this data and we want to make a graph. We want to graph hydrochloric acid versus time and determine the instantaneous reaction rate to t equals 0 and t equals 190 minutes. So the first thing we're going to have to do is graph it. So to make a graph, I've got this graph paper here, so I'm going to go ahead and draw in some axes on both sides. And I'm going to go ahead and start out my y-axis at 0.8 and this is in molarity. We're going to start at 0.8 right there because our data started with or ends with rather 0.840 so that'll cover that range and we'll go up to uh, 1.8 so that we can cover the 1.65 and we'll go by fours 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, 4 for our minor tick marks okay and we'll go by every two would be be a tenth so this would be 1.0, 1 1.2, 1 1.4, 1 1.6, and 1.8. So we've got our y-axis and molarity, and we want our time across the bottom. And I believe we'll also go by tick marks of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 2, and that would be another 4. And I believe we should probably go in, in by hundreds, 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500. And this, of course, is in minutes. Okay, so I've got my axes set up for this uh, graph. And so go back to our data. And we'll go ahead and graph it. So we need a time zero, which is right here. Yeah, we've got 1.65 molarity and that would be right about here so we'll just I don't think I'm gonna use circles today and then at 52 minutes which would be roughly about halfway right here we have 1.53 and so that would be right about here and then at 111 minutes perhaps right about here we have 1.40 yeah, we'll go ahead and put it right there. And at 223 minutes, about halfway here, 223 minutes, we have 1.18. And perhaps that would be right about there. And then we have 450 minutes, which would be over here. And that would be about 0.84, which would be roughly about there. Okay. And now we'll sketch as best we can here a smooth curve through the lines. Okay, we're trying to make a curve. And now we're going to draw a tangent. Now that's, that's what it means to be an instantaneous rate. We want the instantaneous rate at 0 and 190. And what does the instantaneous rate mean? Well, really it means... Um, the tangent. So if you have a curve such as this, the instantaneous rate is like right there. So we just take the slope off of this curve right here. That's how we get the instantaneous rate. 
And so we want it at zero, in other words, the, the initial rate. And so I think what we're going to have to do is we'll have to draw a smooth line right here. And I believe if we do this, that will give me the instantaneous rate there at zero. And now we need to find 190 minutes, and 190 minutes is roughly about right there. So we want the tangent at this point. And I believe that we should we should do it just like this. Whoops. There we go. And so we have both of our tangents right here. Now, to find the slope of these guys, we should probably pick something that's on the line and relatively close to the points right there. So this point right here that I just drew, that would be about 125 on the x. x equals 125 seconds. And our y on this case would be 1.3. Molarity. And so we should take a look over here. And in this case, our x is 200 seconds. And our y is 1.1 molarity. And now we can solve for our slope here, which gives us our instantaneous rate. And it's our y, y2 minus y1. The slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and we plug in our numbers and so our first instantaneous slope from time equals zero is going to be 200 and we'll have our 1.1 minus 1.3 and we'll plug that into our calculator and that gives me an instantaneous rate at time equals zero of 2.67 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per minute there's our first instantaneous rate, 2.67. And now we'll do the same thing for our next curve. And we'll find a spot relatively close, and that would be right there. And mm, it doesn't really matter where we do it, but we can do one right there. As long as it's somewhere on the line. It doesn't have to be on one side or the other. It just needs to be somewhere on the line. And so let's do the same thing. And there's our x1, y1, and so x will be 250 seconds for x1, and our y1 would be 1.1, big M. Okay, and then we'll take a look at this down here, and that is 0 0.9, that's 0.85 for our y and for our x is 400 so we can go ahead and do our calculation again for our instantaneous reaction rate over here and once again it's going to be y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 and so we'll go ahead and get our instantaneous rate for our second line at uh, 190 minutes, which is roughly right about here, as you can see right there. And so we took it off this part over here. And so let's see, so we got 0.85 minus 1.1 divided by parentheses 400 minus 250 close parentheses, and I get minus 1.67 times 10 
to the minus third molarity per minute for the instantaneous rate at 190 minutes. Now this is a lot easier if you do it in Excel. Excel will make a very nice smooth curve, but unfortunately Excel doesn't do tangents very well and you still would end up having to print out your graph and uh, draw on your tangent and estimating where the tangent is and then taking the slope off of that line. And so there you go.